better than On the left here, the campers are going to crash. They say that the price point will be about what it will cost to The vehicles in the right here have been great wooden and an alligator that made it on the ERP. Another part of the terminal over here, as I explained, well, no, the terminal A. The terminal A of MCO, we're about to go ride. There's also that right back in here. Uh, we can see that there's a sign for train station and bright line as separate things. Bright line is a separate thing, which still could mean train station. Oh, that must go downtown. Right. It takes you you will not very much away from Orlando. But we're about to ride this like tram thing to Terminal C. They're definitely selling the whole train station thing. It's just not very obvious where the train goes. And it's like a F unit E unit old school train. Yeah. I mean, I gotta get out of the way. I don't think a location at the airport is the best thing. Be Not hostile, you could fetal position on this. Interesting wayfinding, exit, parking, ride share, train. Nothing about the airport. All right, it's actually pretty easy security things with the gates. You just kind of walk through and like hold stuff over you, get stuff in your pocket. So it's quick, it's just a formality, but it's annoying, it's just to annoy you. Oh, they have Brightline, that's the first thing. Of course, that's the first thing I gravitate toward. And then a Brightline shirt, which is actually, wow, pretty nice. Golf balls, because it's Florida, random. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got in about 20 minutes. 
Berkeley, which, you know. Okay, this one is uh, sucks. They're building.
And we're waiting for FPC. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Group of fourth graders from Brevard County were the first to take a field trip to Brightline's new station in Orlando. The kids who go to Pinecrest Academy Garden School in the era learned about rail and and learn from engineers at the maintenance facility. The field trip came about after Brightline heard about one of the students, River Gonzalez, who wrote a letter to Governor Ron DeSantis persuading him to include a Brightline stop in Cocoa Beach. I think um, the Brightline is like a lot faster and a lot quicker because if you call ride, it might take four hours to Miami, it might take off the Brightline, it might be quicker to Miami. To think that a project like this could be over and over again for getting us this far and we're so happy that this project you know created this for the students so cool service out of orlando's new station is expected to start this summer schools and teachers interested in taking their class on a field trip to brightline station in orlando can find contact information over on our website at west That's a, that's a bright line story. Up at, hmm? Go to, go to, go to Space Mountain. Hmm?